So, yes, as you guys can see, I did end up getting a haircut. You know, the middle part was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It was, you know, better than this, but it was just getting my face, getting a little bit annoying. And I said, you know, let's just, let's just cut it all off. But yeah, I came home from my haircut and I looked at myself in the mirror and I said to myself, like, holy sh**. When did I get so fucking fat? You know when you grab like a kid's cheek and you're like, oh, look at his little chubby cheeks. Like people are gonna start doing that to me like in the gym. You know, my, my family has already turned against me. My mom is pretty much refusing to buy me any more peanut butter as I'm, you know, sat here with five empty containers of peanut butter. You know, Max, why do you have five empty containers of peanut butter? Well, technically they're not empty, are they? I mean, you can see probably like another 15 grams there. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to save money here. Very blue. Very, very, very good flavor. Anyway, you guys are all sitting there wondering, you know, Max, you've been bulking for a year, right? You know, I started my bulk back in August. I was, you know, 165 pounds shredded. You know, believe it or not, there was one point in my life last year, actually, where, you know, I had veins, you know. Now there's not a single vein on my body because I'm just obese. But I started at 165. I'm now 193. And that was last year. So I've been bulking for exactly a year. That's about two pounds per month, you know, 30 pounds, uh, give or take, over the course of the year. So a pretty steady bulk. And, you know, you've got to be sitting they're thinking, you know, Max, you know, when is the cut? Fellas, do not panic. The cut is officially starting January 1st of 2025. Bruh. <laughs> God, it's so over. Yes, 2025, you heard that right. Uh, that means another year and a half of bulking. But Max, how is that possible? Where is this fat gonna go? Well, folks, the idea here is that this will be the bulk to end all bulks. The goal is to bulk one time and one time only. We are doing one bulk and one cut, and then afterwards, I'm just gonna be rocking and rolling, baby. It sucks, but hey, come along this journey with me. Start eating some food. It's okay to look a little bit puffy. It's okay to look a little bit fat. If you wanna build muscle, you have to gain fat. I mean, it's not really ideal, but you're gonna have to inevitably gain some fat if you're gonna build some muscle. So if you are someone who wants to make the most progress possible, you have to be willing to, I mean, for lack of a better word, uh, look like shit for a, a little bit in order to look better in the future. I am unfortunately in the look like shit phase and I will be in that phase for another year and a half. So, uh, you know, the Tinder account's gonna go on pause. Will I actually make it to January 1st of 2025? I mean, only time will tell. At that point, I'll probably be, you know, pushing morbid obesity, which is, you know, probably not the healthiest of things. I mean, at the end of the day, this isn't extremely healthy, um, but you know, we're not doing this for health. We're doing this because, well, why are we doing this? There are some questions in life that don't need to be answered. And, um, um, you know, why, why am I doing this? I kind of forgot even the point of this video, you know, what, what, what was I even doing in this video? Encouraging you to come along and get fat. Um, from a health standpoint, you know, that sounds pretty, pretty terrible. But if you want to build muscle, you have to be willing to gain some fat. And yeah, I guess I also wanted to show you that the, the middle part is gone. Um, and uh, yeah, it makes my face look really, really fat. Man. Anyway, um... Yeah, it's it's just over. It's just so over, man. It's just so over.